I was thinking today, you know, the importance of relationships and the different types of relationships. Sometimes people with disabilities, we can live a lonely life because people have thoughts about us like they don't know how to approach us or no, I'm not approaching that person. They make a conscious decision not to engage with us. And sometimes we make decisions in, in terms of not creating relationships around us. So it becomes either on their side or our side, it becomes a, a, a lonely journey. But I, I think that sometimes we have to make that, that effort to, to reach out. Uh, to reach out to someone who we think is a cool person who you might get along with. Or even at work, not to isolate ourselves. Um, you know, but even if, if we're not working, we're doing this kind of work with YouTube, to remember that there are relationships out there <laughs> that we, we could try and, and connect with. Um, I, I think in many circumstances, it's, it's important because, because it, it, it becomes that moment where you are in, in dire need. And if there's nobody around you, then, then the world becomes difficult, more difficult than it usually is. So, so relationships at, at different levels, they don't have to be that intimate, uh, strong uh, relationship. I'm not talking about that. It can be at different levels. You know, the guy across the street who helps you with heavy duty things, or it can be you know, friends you go out with to the movies with once in a while, or it can be someone who hangs out with you at home, or, and, you know, and I, I get it sometimes, even those relationships are hard to build. Again, I recognize that people with disabilities live a lonely journey. We do, for a variety of reasons, for how people or what think people think about us, uh, how people are not sure how to approach us. Um, so sometimes we have to step over that line and, and let them know that we are a living, breathing entity <laughs> in a wheelchair. <laughs> And, and we appreciate, you know, hellos and good mornings and, uh, you know, uh, get together for dinner or a street party uh, and to show them that we are just as hunger in hungry for relationships as, as anyone else. So, you know, it's not worth isolating ourselves because sometimes we do that too. Uh, we're worried about what others think about myself or um, how they might interpret, you know, so uh, I won't relate to those people. They're kind of weird. <laughs> but at times we also, also, we, we want that isolation. We need that quiet and to be in a space where we know we're not being judged. And, you know, sometimes we can be a little sensitive, like who's judging me next? <laughs> who's up next? <laughs> but <laughs> um, Relationships can be complicated. I think it's one of the most complicated things that human beings do is to be in relationship, is to be in communication with others, 
it's the most complicated thing we do as as creatures, as human beings. Uh, and so we, we need to we need we need to know that to be conscious and aware of it, and that it's important to uh, attempt to to make the the first step and to show that we we can be in relationship despite the wheelchair, despite the walker, despite our blindness. You know we can reach out and 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 be a cool person. So, you know, sometimes we have to pause and, and think about what is cool about me. What do I have to offer to others? And we have a lot to offer, uh, I think. Everybody in their, own, in their own realm, per se. And when things get dire, and we have attempted and worked at those relationships, people will be there for us. So I, th I think there are some dangers in isolating ourselves or allowing the, the isolation to per perpetuate itself. So, so yeah. Relationships are important. The question is, how do we build them? And everybody has their own style. <laughs> so everybody has their own style. So I, I think that it's important to, to sit with ourselves and, and figure out, you know, how can I create a circle of relationships, you know, of different levels? Doesn't have to be the intimate relationship. It can be just, just friends, just people who you hang out with, and become the three musketeers, the four musketeers, <laughs> and it's it's fun to go through the years and and see how those relationships grow, but but truly I. There's pros and cons to being isolated. I think, you know, sometimes the isolation gives us time to work through, to spend time with ourselves, getting to know ourselves. So, so I think the isolation in, in some areas is positive, so I'm not going to mark it as negative, but I would say that uh, a 24-7, I would say that a 24-7, Forever isolation. I, I, I don't know if I could say that that's positive, <laughs> unless you are the grouch, <laughs> the perpetual grouch, which which I don't think so. Um, people always have something good in them to share. So let's let's kind of think about that. Relationships are. Do you have relationships? Do you want relationships? Have you reached out? And do you need assistance? <laughs> Sometimes we need help in introducing us to, to other people, whether it's our a family member who will introduce, introduce us to people in the neighborhood or, you know, other people, you know, so... So I think the relation, the isolation needs to be broken up a bit to find spaces in which you are isolated because it, that's good also, and then time where you are with others. So I think they can be half and half. I mean, you have to decide what percentage will be which. But I think relationships for us are sometimes can be critical because life can be a little bit more difficult for us. I wouldn't say more than others, but 
You know, there are things that we can't do on our own and things that we can perfectly do on our own. And sometimes we need to reach out and, and say, hey, can you give me a hand with X, Y, Z? Um, you know, I need to move next week and I need a couple of hands. So, so it's that kind of thing. Or, you know, I feel like going out, but I don't feel like going out by myself. So, you know, would anybody be willing to go out with me? And, and go to the movies and have a snack or have lunch or whatever and make a day of it. So, yeah. Relationships. How are your relationships? Where are they going? Are there any relationships? And do you feel the need to build some, to reel some in, <laughs> develop some relationships? And what kind of things would help you find those needed relationships? Sometimes just reconnecting with family. Sometimes, you know, things have happened to us and we've just broken away, drifted away. So sometimes just connecting with family is, is the ticket. And then, you know, things can snowball from there and you can reconnect with, with people around you. So relationships. Let's, let's think about that and, and where each one of us wants to go with those important connections. So that, you know, life doesn't, doesn't crash or kind of fold in on itself and trap us. So we are relational beings in so many ways. So let's let's make sure that we, we think about that, we figure out, you know, how much do you need isolation? How much can you relate, connect to with others, and how that will benefit you and, and how it, it strangles you <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but I think that, you know, thinking about it and, and building it and assessing it and figuring out where you are with other relationships. And if you're fine with the relationships and you got the friendships and you got family and you, you, you got your neighbors and you know who they are and they know who you are and you get together sometimes, that's awesome. But some of us kind of struggle with that. So, um, so let's think about that, where, where we need to build it and where we need to rebuild and where we need to not build <laughs> sometimes. A relationship is not going well, <laughs> so <laughs> it doesn't work for us. So, so there are those situations in which um, we need to we need to break off because it's not a healthy relationship. So, we need to break those off and, and rebuild some healthy ones. So that that also exists. You know, you've connected with with people who are not healthy for you. So. That can happen as well. So let's seek the healthy. What is the healthy connections for you? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this video was helpful. Uh, feel free to like the video if you'd like to help. Um, that is like the most helpful thing for me right now and my channel for likes and comments. So that would be awesome. Uh, also, to uh, look at uh, any of these videos that pop up here at the bottom. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and spending a few moments with me. Take care.